Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to enable and use captions in Windows 11. So this way you, when you're uh, doing things like listening to an audio file or watching a video, if there's somebody talking, it will have a caption shown for you so you could read along, so you could even turn down your volume if you don't want to disturb anybody, or if you're having trouble hearing, you could uh, use this to read it instead. So this um, feature may or may not be in your version of Windows, depending on when you're watching it. I'm using an Insider Build a preview edition, so it's in there, so you could try these steps and see if it's there or not when you finally uh, watch this video. All right, so what you want to do to turn it on is go to your settings, and then accessibility, and then you want to scroll down and find captions, and then you want to turn it on, and then it's going to put a bar up here on the top, and so let's say we're going to go to a uh, Watch a video here. Grammarly helps you work more efficiently, which makes accomplishing your work goals easier. In this video, we're going to be talking about the upcoming Microsoft One Outlook email client. So you can see it uh, puts the text up there as you're. Uh, as the video is playing and also let's say you have an MP3 file. I downloaded the speech here. Today I need you to embrace what comes hard. Today I need you to accept the challenge. And then what you could do also from the settings, you could change the position to bottom, or if you want it uh, floating on the screen, so while you're playing, you can move it around. Today I need you to fall in love with the process. There will be plenty of opportunities. And then also you could go to the caption options filter out profanity, include the microphone audio. So if you're talking into your microphone, um, it'll put it on the screen as well. Then you got your styles. If you go here, you know, this could change the text. It's to get discouraged, to lose your passion and think that it's not meant to be. But if you're going to reach your destiny, I can see you there's have different options here. Up mind. If you give up after the first time, or the fifth time, you could even or edit some stuff time. here. What that if you really, really want to change your uh, you background and change the opacity. There should be something you're believing for that you are relentless. You are not moved by how impossible it looks. You're not discouraged by how long it's You can taken. change the font too you if you like. Up because people told you no. Your attitude is... So pretty simple. So like I said, all you got to do, let me get back out of here and we'll go back in. Go to the settings. Accessibility and captions, and then you know you could play with your settings here, and then there's a little demo there too. You could probably set your uh, settings there too, so you could see it before you start using it, and then turn it on. Once you close it, turns it off, and you can use the Windows key, Control plus L, to turn it on and off. That way, you don't have to come into the settings each time to do it. As long as you could remember that key combination, so. Give it a shot and see if your version of Windows has this yes or not, yet or not. And if you need to use it, it's going to come in really handy for you. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.